why does Primavera change in activities duration when I change its calendar? That's what we're going to investigate in this tutorial. Hi, I'm Michael from Planner Tuts. Thanks for checking us out. Have a look at this activity, DNG Engineering, 160 days. If I change its calendar from eight hours by five day work week to something that has different hours per day and perhaps different hours in a week, like 12 by six, watch what happens to the duration. It goes down significantly. It goes down from 160 days to 107 days. Well, why is that happening? I've been poking in the forums and I see a lot of people are struggling with this. How can we keep those durations set the same so that when I change the calendar, it doesn't change those durations? Well, I want to explain first what's going on. And the first thing we need to understand is how durations get stored in the Primavera database. Primavera actually doesn't store durations in days in the Primavera database. It stores that information in the hourly format. So why don't we look at this situation again in an hourly view. We'll go to Edit, User Preferences, and I'll change my durations format to hours. So what we can see here is that the actual hours for this activity is 1,280 hours. And I want to stress here that when I change calendars, this value doesn't actually change. Primavera doesn't edit activity durations for you when I change a calendar. So what is happening? Well, I'm going to show you in this picture. Let's say I have a five-day activity, which translates to 40 hours in terms of an eight-hour by five-day work week. What happens when I change the calendar? If I change it to something with more hours per day and more days per week, this happens. Primavera takes the exact same duration in hours, and it is now trying to fill those daily buckets to the top. So what we end up with is more hours in the day, and we're spreading that 40 hours less thin, a little bit more thickly in the beginning of the week and it ends up calculating a duration of 3.3 days because now with the first three days full we've only got a third of a day left here's how primavera calculates that it takes our static 40 hour duration and divides it by 12 hours per day to calculate a 3.3 day original duration when i'm displaying my duration in days Primavera is constantly recalculating that field based on the calendar that I've chosen. What I want you to understand is how Primavera knows the definition of a day. So if I have two activities and I type in 1D, what does that translate that into? Well, for this calendar, it translates it into eight hours. And for this calendar, it translates it into 12 hours. How does it know how to do that? Is it just because I've named this calendar that way? Let's go into calendars to find out. What I wanna show you here is if I modify each of these calendars, there's a special button down here at the bottom called time periods. If I click on time periods, see this first bucket here? It says hours per day, eight. That is how Primavera knows exactly how many hours are in this day for this particular calendar. So it's actually up to you to set this field. When you're creating calendars, you should be able to, um, you should be setting this field to the appropriate hours per day. Now have a look at the 12 hour by six day. No surprise, it's set to 12. Now let's say I wanted to change the entire calendar for this project to a 12 hour by six day work week. And I wanted the durations to stay the same for them to not change. Fortunately, we can use something called a global change. So we can go up here to tools and you can go down and find this thing called global change. Okay, now I've built this global change called eight hour cal to 12 hour cal. Let's have a look at it. And it looks like this. It looks for activities where the calendar is equal to my old eight hour by five day work week. And then it's gonna perform some operations on, that, on those activities. First, it's gonna update the calendar to the 12 hour by six day work week. So it's gonna do that for us automatically. And then it's also gonna update the original durations. It's gonna multiply each duration times one and a half, 1.5, because 
12 hour days are one and a half times longer than eight hours days. Now, if I run this global change like this, it's gonna throw some errors. And that's because um, updating those durations will not work for say milestones, level of effort, and uh, WBS summary activities. So if I run it in its current form, it's gonna fall down. And we'll go ahead and we'll apply a filter, and we'll apply it to filter out those types of activities I can't update, which includes milestones, and uh, WBS summary as well as level of efforts. And uh, the normal filter filters those guys out. What I'll have to do is after I run this is I will still have to kind of do a two-step and update the calendars of those activities, but not the durations. So I'll go back into Tools Global Change and go ahead and apply the changes. And here are the changes it's gonna make. And I'm gonna go ahead and commit. By the way, big note here. When you work with global changes, you need to make a backup copy of your project first. Warning, do not do this on your only copy of the project. Don't say I didn't warn you. So let's go ahead and commit the changes and we'll have a look. And as you can see, I now have a new calendar applied and I have the updated uh, durations. They were kept exactly the way I wanted them. I'm Michael Lepage. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. And don't forget to check out Planner Tets Premium our online learning portal for Primavera users. Thanks.